As of now, when we click the Open Form button, we can change the background color of our user form and select the border color for our user form. I'll go ahead and close out of this. So I go into the editor, open up the user form, and select Spin button. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Spin button. Go ahead, click and drag to the size you want. Now, for the properties of the Spin button, I want to rename the Spin button, and I'm going to say Spin button red because this spin button is going to be associated with my red RGB value. And an RGB value is a number from 0 to 255. So we want the minimum number to be 0, which is what it is set at already, but we want the maximum number to be able to reach that 255 for the maximum red RGB value. So when I open up my user form, I can click and this will go all the way up to 255. And when I click the left, it will go all the way down to zero. And that's happening, but we can't physically see that happening. So we're going to put a text box in, in which we're going to change the background of that text box color. Go back into the editor, into the user form, select text box, and then click and drag. We can go ahead and leave the name of the text box as text box one. The background color now is set to the default white. And we're not actually going to put text in this at the current moment, so we don't need to worry about anything else. But just remember the name of this is text box one. What we want to do is we want the back color of text box one to change as we increase or decrease the spinner value. So double click the spin or right click and view the code. And you can see it will pop up with private sub spin button red underscore change. So that's when we're clicking through the values of the spin button. You can see all of our previous code up above. When this spin button changes, we want this to change the corresponding red RGB value to the text box back color. So remember, text box one was the name of our text box. And we want that text box one back color to be equal to RGB. Red is what we're changing. So we want this to be equal to the value of spin button red. So type spin button red. And then we'll go ahead and leave green as zero for now and blue as zero for now. So now when we run our user form, as we click, you can see that the red value is slowly changing the text box back color. And you can just click and hold, you don't have to keep clicking. One thing I noticed with this is that the delay on the spin button is really long. I think a nice feature would be to say red for this spin button. And then I would also like it to add what value we're at currently for the spin button because there's no way of telling if we're really at 255 right now or we at 250. So go ahead and close out of that. And in our code, go into the user form and we're going to now use a label. Click the label and we're gonna place it next to the spin button. Change the font size. So go to font. Let's see, 28. So instead of label one, I want this to be label red so that I know that it's associated with the red spinner. And for now, I want the caption to say red. However, I also wanted to display the spin button value. 
So we're going to go back into our spin button code. And as the text box dot back color changes, we also want label red, the caption to change. So label red caption is not just going to be red, but it is also and so amper stamp going to be the spin button red and the value of that. So now as we change that spin button, the spin button value on the caption is also going to change. Our value is directly next to the word red, and it's a little hard for the user to understand. So I'm going to put spin button red value in parentheses. So I'm going to add another parenthesis on at the end and put an open parenthesis right after I type the word red. So now when I go into my user form, my values inside of parentheses. And it actually takes quite a while to scroll all the way up to 255. So I'm going to adjust the delay on the spinner. Go into the user form and go into the properties for the spin button and go to delay. I want the delay to be faster. So instead of 50, which is the default, I'm going to set it to 25. Now when I run my code, you can see that it increases and decreases a lot faster. But I don't want to just change the red value. I also want to change the blue value and the green value. So in user form, we're going to copy, so control C, and then paste. So now our new spin button we want to change that name to spin button green. And when you copy, all the other features, with the exception of the name, are also copied as well. So this delay is going to be set to 25 on this new spin button, and the max and min are going to be 255 and 0. Copy it one more time for blue. and this is going to be spin button blue. And same thing with the label. We can just copy that to keep the size the same. So this is going to be label green. And I'll go ahead and change green in the caption because that's how I want the caption to start. And label blue. And I want this caption to start with blue. So now I just have to write the code associated with each button. So for green, I want it to change the green. So I'm going to make this clear that one is changing the red. Spin button green is changing the green. And I'll go ahead and put blue in as well. So this will change the blue. And I have to make sure I also change the name to the spin button blue for blue. So before I add code to these, I need to change my code and my original red button. Because now, instead of having the values of green and blue be set to zero, I'm going to want those values to be what the spin button is. So spin button green will be my corresponding RGB green value. And spin button blue will be the blue value of the RGB 
for the text box one back color or background color. So now I can copy that code, paste it in, and change the label. So label red, I still want that to say red, but label green, I want that to say green. And I want the spin button green value displayed as well. So now if I just change the green value, the default for the red and the default for the blue are set and just the green value will change. But if I go back and change the red value, it will keep this green value spin button stored and then change the red value. And then last but not least, the blue. Green button blue value. See how the code works now when we run it. Open the form, changing the red, changing the green, and this is where we run into a problem because now you can't see the value because it's slowly pushed off the page behind this text box. So we can go back in and fix that. And the blue as well gets scooted off the text box. So that's a simple fix. Go into our editor, go into the user form. On this text box, we can make this smaller and we can make our labels slightly larger. I'll also make this a little bit smaller. So it's roughly the same height that these spinners take up. And let's run the code again. Open the form. The red value changes. The green value changes. And the blue value changes, just as expected.